What's going on guys, Andy here, G4 Outdoors, and some people have a junk drawer at their house. I have a junk basement. And no joke guys, when I first moved in here, man, pool table at a nice little lounge and chill area, and then the more boxes I got, the more flooded the basement got with everything. As you can see, that pool table is completely filled with just gun boxes, gun parts, gun oils. It's like my cleaning station. It's a disaster. Plus, I have so many other boxes from stuff that's been sent to me. But, believe it or not, that is not what this video is about. We have had non-stop rains. Just rains, 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 and I got another two weeks of rains coming. And we've been having a little bit of a small issue. As you guys know, my boat is a 2008 Triton, and the cover is also a 2008 Triton cover, as you guys can see. The issue I'm having is the canvas for this boat cover is starting to absorb moisture. So when I come out to fish after it's getting done raining, my boat's completely soaked because the cover's just letting the water seep through. So I went out to my local Academy Sports, which is my new favorite store, like I told you guys before. When I lived in Independence, it was Bass Pro Shop nonstop. But now that I'm out here, Academy's right here, dude, and they got everything. And don't mind this little duct tape spot. I accidentally punched a hole through it with my trolling motor propeller. And yeah, guys, the product I went out and bought is by Starbright. They're the same ones that make the Startron, the uh, fuel additive for a lot of the boats. And this is a waterproofing spray for uses on tents, boat tops, boat covers, outdoor clothing, etc. Things like that. And I got this up there at Academy, like I was saying. It was like 11 bucks on sale, no big deal. I went ahead and completely saturated this once because I bought two bottles of it. I'm gonna go through and do it one more time because here in about two or three hours, we're supposed to get a bunch more storms coming through. And when that happens, I'm gonna come back outside and I may even do it while it's raining, but maybe after it's raining and just kind of see if this product actually works, man. Because if they make sprays like this, I know I could use it on the cover of my truck because every now and then it gets a little bit of water in there. No big deal. But I could use a product like this on a lot of stuff, shoes, clothing, stuff like that. So we're gonna see if it works. It smells pungent. I'm gonna shoot this again one more time real quick and then uh, after the rains, we'll come back out and check it out. And that second time right there, I just kind of gave it a light misting. I heavily did it on the first one. We're just gonna mist it, let it soak in again, uh, give it a couple hours before it rains, we'll come back and check it out. And while we're waiting on the rain, I'm gonna go over some of the new fishing tackle I got. Starting off real quick with the stuff I got from Academy this morning, when I went out and purchased that, uh, whatever that stuff is to repel water. I got some of these big bites, Gamagatsu hooks, screw on heads, for uh, you know, shaky head techniques and different things like that. I like these really small ones because they fall really slow on grass lines. I get a lot of bites using those. I had also pick up a new trim switch for the front of my boat, which kind of is crapping out on me a little bit. Now I got a couple of these square bill crankbaits from their H2O series that they sell. These square bills are jointed and they go about five feet. Yeah, two to five feet. Square bill, jointed. I've never thrown jointed square bills and I'm kind of excited. And I picked up a couple packages of these Z-Man, the TRD Craws, the really small Craws. And I'm gonna use these for trailers on jigs, most likely. Okay, now for the Bass Pro Shop box. So they had Yum Baits on sale for like a dollar and some change. So I just picked up some different Senko style baits. Uh, just yum dingers, cool colors, blue green chartreuse. I got some uh, Christy Critters, the big ones, seven inch. Uh, I haven't fished these much, but I love creature baits. I also got some yum dingers in the smaller, I think they're four inch. Yeah, four inch yum dingers. Got some yum worms, brown chartreuse tail, like the Ozarks and ponds. I do killer with these. And then I just got a couple other packages, different colors of the Christy Craws. And the pink, yum, pink's gonna whop them. 
And the next bait I'm super excited about, these chompers when I was younger. I used to throw these so much and I've caught so many fish with these. That's kind of what I'm going to go back to uh, throwing these because I miss them and that's kind of why I got those too. And then last but not least, I got some Bass Pro Shop XPS. Very, very small, 5 16th ounce lipless crankbaits. Uh, just for catching numbers, uh, I got doubles on this color, doubles on this color, and doubles on this color. I used to throw these a lot, but I've grown to hate them because back in the day they had the worst hooks in the world. But it looks like on these new ones they upgraded to some nickel plated. Let me see here. Yeah, it says premium black nickel treble hooks. So the ones they had before were horrible, so I got those. So uh, yeah, dude, excited to start throwing those again. All right, guys, it's taking way too long to rain because the weatherman never knows what's going on. But it's said to give it about five hours on the thing. It's been about two and a half or three. So I got a little water bottle. I'm going to see if it just beads right off or not. Well, it's definitely all dried up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're back in business, folks. Dude, that is awesome. This is give me something new to do. Just do this all day. I may just soak my entire boat in this, and I'm not talking about the cover. I'm only running a 50 horse motor and I bet it gives me at least another 10 to 12 to 85 miles an hour just gliding through the water. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah guys, obviously just a short video on this product. I am 100% sure it works because before when I would hit that boat cover with water, it would just kind of sit there and you would literally be able to watch it slowly suck up. So if you're looking for a quick product to spray on a boat cover or something I think you can even do to your clothes, check out this product, man. Star Bright Waterproofing. Starlight, star bright, what star I see tonight. and guns.